Here we go, Weather Whiz Wednesday. I am almost out of questions. I usually have a nice little stockpile, but I'm almost out. Please send me your weather questions to weather at newcenter1.com. We're starting to get into like thunderstorm season, so if you're curious about that or just about anything, please send your weather questions to weather at newcenter1.com. Send in a video because it's extra adorable, and this video is going to prove it. Our Weather Whiz today is Ethan. My name is Ethan. I heard that tornado season is coming up. But I have one question. If I'm playing football outside, what kind of clothes should I look, should I look for in case of a tornado? That is an excellent question, Ethan, and first of all, good luck on your upcoming football season. But if you're out at practice and you're wondering what type of clouds do I need to look for, our thunderstorm clouds are cumulonimbus clouds. They could start as just a happy fair weather cloud that starts getting a little unstable, getting some vertical growth up there into the atmosphere. You could always point them out because they are by far the tallest clouds out there, sometimes going up to 35,000 and 40,000 feet. The most dangerous tornado producing clouds would be a cumulonimbus clouds with a little bit of a upward rotation and we call that a mesocyclone. That is what defines a supercell thunderstorm. It has rotation in the middle, the core of the storm along with all the updrafts and downdrafts and attached to that cumulonimbus cloud, that supercell thunderstorm will be a wall cloud and that will be where the tornado will fall. So this is an example of a supercell thunderstorm. It's ugly but it's kind of picturesque at the same time. Not always this well defined but you have the shelf cloud there and you can see the wall cloud very close to the surface. That is where the tornado would start to form. So a bit of a diagram here I'm going to walk you through. This is the storm. You see the huge towering cumulonimbus cloud. The storm is moving from the left side of your screen off to the right side of your screen. This is the mesocyclone. This is that rotating updraft that defines a supercell thunderstorm. And then we tend to see the anvil. Think of an old blacksmith's anvil. That's the cloud spreading out as it hits a more stable layer of air. But the updraft is so strong it'll actually start to punch through the top. Most of the precip will be on the front edge of the storm. And we'll start to see the hail as you get closer to that wall cloud and that tornado would eventually drop. So when we're looking at it on a radar, think of this as more an overhead view now if we pulled it up on the true view Titan radar. Not normally this well defined. This is a classic hook echo here and you start to see this is the most dangerous part of the storm. This is where the mesocyclone is. Think of when I talk about a center low pressure ro rotating counterclockwise. This is where we find it in the storm. If we were to pick out where the tornado is right there in that notch, we often see call this a tornado vortex signature. A TVS, and that's where you're going to see the tornado. Now, one very interesting feature on this supercell, where that tornado is located, you see the reds there? That is not hail. That is actually what we call a debris ball. That would be logs, branches, tree limbs, anything getting picked up and thrown around by that supercell thunderstorm. You don't always see that debris ball, but you know that that tornado is packing quite the punch. So, Ethan, thank you very much for your weather question. I hope I answered it. For you, you get a family four-pack of tickets to the historic Elks Theater. Four tickets, two drinks, two popcorns. A New Center One representative will contact you. If you want to get in on this sweet deal to the Elks Theater, please email me your weather questions. Weather at newcenter1.com.